Hello, YouTube. This is Big Daddy Technology, along with my assistant, Tech Boy Draven. Hello. And today we have a project of replacing the bare bulb inside a BenQ 1070 projector. The process is similar to replacing the lamp, but there's going to be more steps when you actually get to the bulb itself. Uh, we're going to start off the same way by removing this screw right here. Also, I am ending the camera with a camera stand, just to let you know. Very good, tech boy. Well, we're going to take this face plate off. And then we've got the lamp in there. And like before, the first screw we're going to take off is down here. We're not going to mess with the second screw. As I mentioned before in my last video, this screw right here has a nut at the bottom of it. It doesn't need to come the whole way out. You don't have to bring it the whole way out. Mine did last film, but just so you know, this is, there's a little C-clamp on it that holds it in place, okay? Now we can put the projector off to the side and we can focus on this lamp. And the first thing you wanna do is get this outside housing cover off. Uh, there is two small screws, one positioned here and one located here. And I'm just going to use my same tool. Put these somewhere safe. Okay, this outside cover should slide off very easily and set that off to the side. Now, if we look down here very closely, we've got two screws on this bracket and there's two screws on this inner bracket that's positioned inside here. In order to get to them, we're going to need to remove these cables on the outside. Firmly grip as close as you can to the bulb and give it a nice firm yank back. Now I'll bring off the first one. The first one's got more length so you know that goes to the top. And also the second one's got more of a crook in it since it it uh, attaches closer. So once again give it a nice firm grip pull straight back. Okay so you've got those unplugged. Now you could start taking the screws off. These two screws. screws over here along with this other screw no 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 Draven those are different screws buddy oh these ones go to the housing on the outside and this one goes to the brackets on the inside okay okay and you could take off the first bracket then and set it with the bracket screws now this is the part that gets a little tricky is getting to these screws on the inside here um, this screwdriver I use work gr works great because it has um, the length to get in there to that tight spot. Okay, this one's about out. Put that right there. And we'll get the second screw out. And I want to show you something about this second bracket. 
kind of important. Once that comes out, you can basically lift the bulb out at this point. And we're just going to set that over here at the moment. But I want, I want you to focus on this bracket and how it's set in. This bracket has a notch on it and a kind of a post that sits upright. That is designed to hold the bulb in place by this notch that's built on the bulb. If you look, right, there's a little notch. And make sure when you reassemble that this is facing upright. Very important step. Okay. If you wanted to, if it was dusty, you could use a little bit of air duster on this. Um, keep, make sure you keep the can upright. It is. Upright at all times. And short, controlled burst to blow any dust or debris out of there. Okay. So we are going to pretend this is our replacement bulb and try not to touch the inside of this because you don't want to get your fingerprints or oil in there. So the way to get it back in would be you want to start by putting the bracket with the, um, the raised post in first. You're going to set that in and when you put your bulb in you want to try to wiggle that that bulb into that hole. That's the, the trick to it. Once you get it in, you can move over just a little bit. And then you want to make sure you take your other one, your other one, and you put it on the other side just to see if the holes line up. If the holes are not lining up, you know the bulb either needs to wiggle left or right. But as you can see, the, you can see the holes perfectly, so I got it perfect. But that's just from practice. Now we're going to start by um, replacing these screws in the far back. And this one's actually ready to go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to move this over just a hair. Okay, I'm not going to put that in the whole way. I'm not going to snug it up just yet. I'm going to just get it started. I'm going to go to the other side. And with the same thing, I'm going to get the screw started. You can see down in here. Very good. We're going to put it in 90% of the way, but not snug it up. And now we're going to come back here and make sure everything is still looking good on this side, which it is. And now we're going to start working on those two screws. Get it right on there. Same thing, snug it up about 80%. Now this one we're going to put in 100% of the way. That should be good, nice and snug. And then we're going to go back here to this opposite corner. Snug that up the rest of the way. And then this side, we're just going to snug it up. at the bulb now we're in pretty good I'm gonna actually snug this one up just a hair more there's a little bit of play in the bracket okay less play that's good bulbs in it's not gonna fall out now we're gonna reconnect these um, wires onto the posts here Start with the one that's the crook that goes towards the inside first. Nice firm grip. Put it right on. Grip. Okay, now we gotta put the housing back on. 
uh, put the housing back on. We basically have to figure out exactly how it goes, which I'm thinking this is exactly how it goes, yes. Um, an indicator is this little notch right here. It fits right on. And then we'll start over here. And there's our housing back together. Now our lamp is pretty much reconstructed. And the next step would be to plug it back into our main projector. I'm just going to slide it. There we go. There it is. Now we focus on these ones. And the two posts are sticking up in the two holes, and then we screw that back in. Like I mentioned in the last video, some people still have the plastic on here. After I changed the first bulb, I got rid of the plastic. It's not necessary. Try it again. get started by hand. And that's it. That's the end. All right, guys, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, this is going to be one of the last videos I do with this BenQ projector, but I still have one more where I'm going to disassemble it completely to remove dust. I'm going to teach you how to break this down completely. And then I'm going to start my <clears throat> series on Xbox controllers and how to fix the drift in them. Um, I really hope you like this video and um, hope to see you next time. Say goodbye. Bye. Like and subscribe. All right. Bye.